Hey everybody, it's Gamalad, and welcome to another Harvest Moon Light of Hope discussion video. The last one I did was a pre-E3 video talking about my optimism and my hope for the game that was announced by Natsume earlier this year. Um, I was going to do a video after E3 once they showed off a trailer, but Natsume never actually did, so I had to wait a little bit. Um, I know some gameplay did leak online a couple of months ago, but I wanted to wait for Natsume themselves to put out any real gameplay before I really... Um, past judgment and well i did i waited and boy am i disappointed so let's first recap of what i discussed in the previous video in the last video i talked about what netsume could do to make this game somewhat enjoyable um, I've talked about how they could, you know, make use of the architecture of the PC, PS4, and the Switch, saying that, you know, you, you, you um, relatively speaking, have a limitless power compared to mobile and the 3DS. So I was thinking they could use this to go on all, to go all out, excuse me, to make a game that actually looks really good. Unfortunately, it seems like every point I made to Natsume, they went in the opposite direction of it. Let's first address the elephant in the room. The game looks like a mobile game. So, is this supposed to be a mobile game? Is this game supposed to eventually come to iOS and Android? Because it's, again, it's advertised as a PS4, PC, and Nintendo Switch game, but it doesn't look like something I would see on any of those, especially with the Harvest Moon name. The only reason why I could see it looking like a mobile game is that Natsume is trying to move away from traditional home consoles and PC, to the mobile market with these games. I don't know how well Seeds of Memories did on iOS and Android, nor do I know, know how well their um, other Harvest Moon, Little Farmers or something game did on mobile, but it seems like Natsume is just trying to make a new game for as cheap as possible. And honestly, whenever I see this game, it just looks cheap. Not only does it look cheap, it looks awful. I mean, dreadfully awful. It looks like it's trying to mimic the style of games like Friends of Mineral Town, a lot of the older um, sprite-based games, but it just looks... It just looks painful. I, that's the only way I can say it. I don't know how to best describe how it looks because it just looks very stiff, unoriginal, uninspiring, and it doesn't look any fun. This is probably the first time ever that I've just been disgusted to see a new game in this series. And don't get me wrong, the top-down perspective can be done right. I mean, we have games like Stardew Valley that did a pretty good job mimicking the original art style of Harvest Moon on the Super Nintendo. So I don't know why Natsume is having a hard time making games that look relatively good, even if, there are, if, even if they are trying to go with the top-down perspective. I think that what it's boiling down to is that Natsume is just failing to learn from their previous mistakes and trying to grow the series. When you compare Harvest Moon Sky Tree Village to Harvest Moon The Lost Valley, there was a marked improvement between those two games. In Harvest Moon The Lost Valley, it was a 3DS game that tried to mimic Minecraft of sorts, and was just barren and lost all the soul that made a Harvest Moon game Harvest Moon. And then when you go to Sky Tree Village, the game was actually a little bit better. It had a dedicated village for you to uh, interact, interact with villagers, you could see different people in their day-to-day -day lives, and they wouldn't just be you know, appearing randomly in front of your house and just leaving. You weren't confined to just that one deserted area, you had a town to explore and people inter and to interact with, and I thought, okay, this could be a good base to move forward with. Unfortunately, it just seems like they've decided to move backwards with this. Uh, granted, when it came to Seeds of Memory, that's when this whole top-down, this new top-down gameplay for them came about, but it just seems like they're going about this all the wrong way. It's quite odd, because it seems like the games are starting to decline in quality now. Harvest Moon The Lost Valley was, a, again, abysmal game. Sky Tree Village, marked improvement. Seeds of Memories, okay, it was a mobile game, it played okay, but now we have a full-fledged console, M mind you, a console, Harvest Moon game that is managing to look worse than their 3DS offerings, and the more I look at it, it's starting to look a bit worse than their mobile offering. That's honestly quite impressive. And another thing that is just baffling is that they have not done anything to try and expand their own universe. Looking at some more gameplay of this game, I'm starting to see a trend of the previous games. They're bringing back all the same characters, they're not adding anyone new, and it just makes the games gonna, it's just gonna make the games feel extremely stale. When it comes to the mainline Bokujo games, every new Story of Seasons game manages to look a bit different. Maybe not with art style, but you, you'll never have the exact 
exact same cast between two games, no matter how much I want to marry Ellie again. And that's where these two games are becoming jarring. When it comes to the new Boku Show game that'll come out on the Nintendo Switch, I'm expecting it to look completely different from a new beginning, Story of Seasons, and Trio of Towns. I'm expecting for the series to evolve. So when I look back at, at Natsume's Harvest Moon game, I'm, I'm, I'm expecting the same thing. I'm expecting for their games to evolve with the times, not to stagnate and decline. That's again what makes me keep coming back to Harvest Moon after all these years because of how different the games get from game to game. If I wanted to play the same game all the time, I would go and, and start up Friends of Mineral Town again and never look at the series beyond that. So overall, it's just really a disappointment when I see this, see this game and just what this game could have been. Natsume could have taken the time and effort to make a game that could rival the actual Bokujo series, especially with, you know, the hardware the capabilities they have available to them now. But it seems like that's not the direction they choose to go, and honestly, with that decision, my benefit of the doubt for this game and Zim in general is kind of declining. The biggest reason for this is because because of this, people still don't know that Harvest Moon today is no longer the same Harvest Moon of yesterday. People still don't know that Harvest Moon is just a localized name for the Bokujo series, and that the new Bokujo name in the West is Story of Seasons. People will look at these games and see, oh, this is the new Harvest Moon game. I haven't played one since a new beginning, or I haven't played one since a wonderful life, or I haven't played one since the 64 version, and they want to see how the series has grown, and they pull up, you know, Harvest Moon 2017, and they see this game and wonder what the heck happened with the series. It just leaves a bad impression on the series as a whole, especially when, in my opinion at least, Story of Seasons is getting better after each title. Trio of Towns improving a lot of issues I had with the original Story of Seasons. Story of Seasons improving a lot of issues I had with A New Beginning. And I'm expecting uh, Story of Seasons on the Nintendo Switch to improve on all of those issues as well. And this is where the contrast between Natsume and Marvelous's games come into play. Marvelous is willing to continue to evolve their series and fix problems with it, while Natsume, again, is looking to stagnate it. So with this in mind, I don't see a bright future for Natsume's Harvest Moon series. I don't expect this game to do increasingly well, more so because it just looks like a bad game, and what I mentioned earlier, people, a lot of people who are diehard fans of the series don't know that the series had a name change. Um, granted, I've seen a lot of people who have said, you know, oh, I want to play the new or Harvest Moon games, but I don't know, it looks like some sort of generic mobile game. And I have to tell them that, no, Story of, it's actually called Story of Seasons now. So it's just a really finicky spot for Natsume because not only are they turning off fans who enjoy these life sim and um, farming sim games, they're also turning, turning off people who are casual to the series and not who are not up to speed on everything that's happened with the name changes. If Natsume continues to go this way, they're going to eventually drag the Harvest Moon name that they created into the into the mud further than they already have. Honestly, I don't know how I feel about that. It just feels like there is no future for Natsume series. I mean, granted, they're going to continue making them as long as people buy them, but eventually it's going to come to a point where people aren't going to buy the games anymore, and that their series that is just going to go go under. And I'll be honest, that's, that's, that makes me really sad because I was actually, you know, I wanted to see where Natsume could go and making their own Harvest Moon game on their own without, you know, without Marvelous and the Bokujo title. I wanted to see, you know, since, you know, since they've localized many of the games, since they know what the series is all about, how they could take their own spin on the series. And unfortunately, that spin has gone in a downward spiral. And as any fan of the Harvest Moon series and this genre, I really want this game to be good. I want Natsume to get better at making these games. Competition drives innovation, no matter how you look at it. Multiple farming sim games on the market like this will, will cause them to get better. Because I strongly believe that because of Stardew Valley, I would like to hope that, you know, Marvelous will look at that and say, okay, what can we take from this and reinvigorate into this main Bokujo series that made a lot of fans love the original game on the Super Nintendo and so forth. It just is a good thing when there's successful competition, and to see Natsume starting to go down on this uh, downward trend, it's just really sad. I don't know what to think of this game, you know, for all I know this game could be good. 
It could be good, but it just looks bad. It looks like they're not listening to any feedback from the fans. It looks like they don't really care what the fans think and how the series should progress. And it, it really hurts because it's like, I wanted these games to do better. And I'm sounding like a broken record, I know. This is not scripted. This is me talking from the heart and it's going on a bit of a tangent. But that's pretty much how I feel about all this. Um, I don't know what to say. I mean, well, obviously I do know what to say. I've been talking for the last, like, 15 minutes. But still, it's just a very interesting spot for them to be in. And I just, I wish, I wish I'd see me the best of luck with this. If they, if they find success in this route, you know what? I, I wish you best of luck. But as a fan, you're, you've pretty much at this point lost me. Will I buy, um, 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 Light of Hope or whatever it's called? I forgot the name of it. I don't know. I doubt it. So I'm, I, if enough of you want me to review that game, let me know down in the comment section below. I will I'll get the game, I will play it, I'll write a review talking about it, because you know what, I would love to be served Crow, I would love to be proven wrong on these games, and say, oh, the games, the, these games are pretty good, but from how they, from how they look, it just doesn't seem that way, and yes, I know these games are in, in, in an early build, and they are su subject to change, so maybe they'll look better, but as we've seen so far, and if that's Sume's track record, I don't see that happening, and it really makes me sad, but you know what, TGS is around the corner, so I would like to hope that maybe um, Marvelous will show off the new um, Boku Show game for the Switch, which I'd be extremely happy to see, because I would love to talk about Boku Show on the Switch. Anyway, that's it for this ramble. I don't know what I accomplished in this video. Maybe you guys got something out of this, maybe you didn't. I don't know. Again, it was more of a ramble, and I apologize for that. Normally when I make commentary videos, they're a bit more scripted. Um, this is more of a discussion video, so discussions are a bit more loose and not really confined to any scripts. I want to do a lot more videos like this in the future, so if you have any more feedback from me on these type of videos, by all means, leave them down in the comment section below. I would love to hear about it, you guys. I do have more commentary videos planned in the future. I have about five of them, um, writing, writing scripts for about three commentary videos and making outlines for two discussion videos. I hope to have those, those up to you guys relatively soon. But yeah, um... I, I think I, I, I know I would have shown off some of the gameplay for the new Harvest Moon game in this video. Let me know what you guys think of what you saw. Does this game seem like something you want to buy? Does it seem like that Natsume is just moving further and further away? What made the series special? I don't know. And maybe someone out there will, will think the game looks pretty cool. And if you do, by all means, tell me down in the comment section below why you think that. I would love to know, you know, what, what about this game you enjoy? But, it, you know, that's pretty much all I've got to say for now. If you enjoyed this video, like I said, leave a comment down in the comment section below. And be sure to subscribe for future Let's Plays, reviews, commentaries, giveaways, and more. And as always, everyone, thanks for watching.